Hello everyone, I'm Gio and today we'll talk about Laravel Breeze with Next.js stack that was recently announced by Taylor Otwell. On December 1st, Taylor tweeted that scaffolding JS SBA with Laravel Breeze was going to get much faster and easier by creating a new PR in Laravel Breeze's repository. This PR adds a new API stack to Laravel Breeze. As stated in the PR description, the stack removes all JS and CSS related scaffolding and installs control that properly handle the API authentication, which is powered by Laravel Sanctum. As stated in the PR itself, the stack can be paired with any SBA, whether it's uh, Next.js or Nux.js if you're into Vue. And in the PR itself, we have a link to a GitHub repository called Breeze Next, which is the Laravel Breeze implementation in Next.js. So it's a starter kit for Laravel Breeze using Next.js, which is really exciting and not only because it's using Next.js but because you could use that to learn from it and kind of create your own starter kits using other front-end stacks whether it's Svelte.js or Vue.js, Nux.js and so on. For those of you who don't know what Laravel Breeze is, check out my other video that I made when Breeze was first released. It's basically a minimal starting point for your Laravel application that comes with authentication implementation out of the box. It uses Tailwind CSS and exposes controllers for you to be able to modify and adjust as needed unlike Laravel Fortify which kind of hides away the magic. Now what does this mean for Laravel Fortify? Is Fortify dead or will it get deprecated? According to Tailwind, Taylor, the answer is no. It seems like Fortify is not going to be recommended to be used outside of Jetstream because it can be confusing to some to set it up. For those of you who don't know what Laravel Fortify is, it basically is a front-end agnostic authentication backend, which means that it can be paired with any front-end. Laravel Jetstream, for example, uses Laravel Fortify behind the scenes to power its authentication. I actually have an entire series on authenticating next JS application using Laravel Fortify and Laravel Sanctum. So check it out if you're interested to see how it works. To be honest though, Breeze Next is probably going to be a much easier alternative. Laravel Fortify though still has some use cases in my opinion. First of all, it is being used for Laravel Jetstream for the time being. And also it provides two-step authentication out of the box so that's a big plus. So I don't think Laravel Fortify is going anywhere anytime soon. So let me know what you think about this new package that is going to be released soon. Note that the Breeze Next package has not been released yet so things might change before the final release. If anything changes I will make a follow-up video. About it. So this is it for this video, I just wanted to let you know about this news, I'll probably make another video about Breeze Next to actually install and play around with it once it's released. So thanks a lot for watching and for all the support, hit the like button if you like my videos and subscribe if you haven't already done so. In case you're new to this channel and you haven't watched my PHP series, I have a very long PHP series on this channel that you can browse through and watch the videos. We cover PHP 8, PHP 8.0 one and a lot of interesting topics in more detail. So if you want to brush up on some topics or are learning PHP or would like to know how certain things work in Laravel, my PHP series might be helpful. So check it out and let me know if you have any questions or feedback. Thanks again and I'll see you in the next one.